Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Dola Fadu and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT to write a very good CV and cover letter for your job applications. Now, I do understand that the job market is very competitive at the moment. So you want to ensure that your CVs and your cover letter gets seen and actually stands out amongst other applications. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video where I talked about how I got a full-time job before graduating, then you should definitely check that out. I'm going to leave the link here. So go watch that where you can get some more helpful tips on securing your first full-time job in the UK as an international student. Now, in that video, I promised that I was going to do another video to show you how to write your CV and your cover letter. And one of the very useful ways by which you can do that is using ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a very useful tool if you're applying for numerous jobs at the same time. You want to ensure that each job application is tailored to the job that you're applying for. And when I was applying for jobs and I wasn't getting calls for interviews, I was very frustrated. I was wondering what could be happening. I'd revise my CV and my cover letter over and over again, ensuring that it was, you know, it was very good. And I was expecting to be called for interviews, but that wasn't happening. So I went to seek help. And I got that help from the career service at my university back then. Now, I remember speaking to the person that was, you know, advising me on my CV and my cover letter. And he had mentioned that I've ever tried to use ChatGPT. And I was like, really? And in my head at first, I was a bit resistant because I was thinking, hmm, wouldn't it be too obvious that I'm using an AI tool for my CV and cover letter? But they told me how a lot of people don't use it the right way. And he explained to me how to actually use it in the right way that it will work for you. And best believe I took that advice and I utilized that into my application and then I started getting called for interviews. So I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can do that as well. The right prompts that you can use for ChatGPT to give you what you need. Okay. I'm going to be using an example. So I'm going to be asking like I'm applying for a job in this video and I'm going to be showing you how I use those prompts in my job applications and how it has actually worked for me. I have a job here that I've downloaded from LinkedIn and it's a public health strategist officer role. And I'd already gone through and looked through the job application to see if the information in my CV would be vital and to be useful for this application. So of course you don't want to apply for a job that you don't have any experience or the experience or the skills that you're looking for, because that's one of the mistakes that a lot of people make. They end up applying for jobs that they know that they don't have the experience or the skills that they are looking for. So whenever you see a job, before jumping to apply for that job, Go through the job description, the person specification, see if you have the experience or the skills that you are looking for, because that will then give you a higher chance of being called for an interview or even getting the job. So I've gone through this already, like I said, and I've already downloaded the job description. And what I'm going to do now is to then go to ChatGPT and then ask ChatGPT to then tailor my CV to this job application. So the best way you can actually use ChatGPT is to ensure that you already have a CV. So you already made, you already have your own CV, which you have down, that you're using to apply for jobs. But now what ChatGPT can help you to do is not to create a whole CV from scratch, but to ensure that your CV is ATS compliant. I don't know what ATS compliant means. It's called an applicant tracking system, but it's basically like a software or a tool that employers use to screen different job applications. Because if they put out a job and they're saying that, over a hundred people are applying for the job. One human being is not going to sit down and start looking through hundred job applications. That's going to take them days or even weeks to do. So basically what they do is that they use this ATS or applicant tracking system, which will then screen different job applications that have been submitted. So if your CV is not ACS compliant, then it is very, very likely that your CV might not even be seen by the employer. So you want to make sure that they're able to see your CV and your cover letter. They can see all the wonderful experiences that you have and they can call you for an interview. That's what I'm going to be showing you now in this video. So I'm going to charge GPT now and I already have the prompt. So this is usually the prompt I use for my job applications. So it says here, you are applying for a role as a public health strategist officer, create an ATS compliant CV using the job description I will attach below and the information I will provide for my CV. In the CV, include quantifiable metrics, but make it as realistic as possible and do not make up any information. Here's the information from my CV. Now, I want you guys to notice how I asked or prompted ChatGPT. So I didn't just say, create a CV for me. This is the job description. This is, the, this is my CV. No, you are giving it that prompt as you are the one applying for it. So it makes it very personalized and also makes it realistic. 
Now, also mention how I talked about including quantifiable metrics. Now, one of the things that can make your CV stand out is having quantifiable metrics in your CV. So when you're talking about the things that you have done, for example, I achieved so, so, and so, how did you achieve it? Of course, you've already explained that in your CV, but as well, I'll talk about the results, okay? I've talked about the STAR method in one of my videos before, where I talked about how to write a personal statement. If you haven't watched it, here's the link to that video. That video, I talked about using the STAR method, S-T-A-R, situation, task, action, and result, when you're doing your personal statement. It's the same process for your CV and your cover letter as well. So basically the quantifiable metrics is the result so the result of what you've done so it gives you like percentage or it gives you like numbers okay those are the things that the ats system is also going to be screening and looking toward chargpt now has this feature where you can actually attach a file when i started doing this last year it didn't have that feature so it's really really cool that now you can actually attach a file before what i would do is that i would copy and paste the job description and then copy and paste my cv but now i can actually attach the job description and attach my cv as well and i'm just going to change the prompt now since i'm able to attach my cv i already said using the job description i will attach below and information i will provide from my cv so attached in the cv include quantifiable metrics but make it as realistic as possible and do not make up any information it's important that you let it know that so you can also say if you understand reply with a yes to ensure that it understands what you're saying so basically i'm going to send that prompt in now so it's going to be drafting it now thank you please go ahead so basically it's using all the information from my cv to actually create this new tailored cv that is now ats compliant with the job i'm applying for so what you want to do is that once that is done so once you just give it some time it's going to use all the information i've put in here next thing that you want to do is then go through it so before copying and pasting everything and just using that to apply for the job you want to ensure that you've screened it as well essentially look at the quantifiable metrics because sometimes it could over exaggerate some metrics so you want to ensure that it's as realistic as possible and it's also something that you can prove because in the interview they then ask you okay can you show me how you were able to get a 20 percent increase in service utilization that you mentioned in your cv you don't want to be looking at them and thinking oh I shouldn't have said that so you want to ensure that you can prove whatever metrics they are going to put in your cv so you have to reach through that as well so now ChatGPT has actually given me a very very good cv and it has, it has also given the key skills that are needed for this job as well because that is the information from the job description now it has also made sure that my cv is well tailored to the job i'm applying for so this is just a kind of prompt so you can take a screenshot look at that prompt and also try it try it out and see and see how it works for you if for example you want to create a cv for a particular job now let's say for example we needed to submit a cover letter or a personal statement for the same job now this is the way you're also going to do that so i'm going to get the same prompt as well okay that i've already mentioned for the cv i'm going to type that again but this time around i'm now going to say create an ats compliant cover letter or let's say for example it's like a personal statement you put personal statement but here we're going to use cover letter using the job description or because now it has already created a cv for you so if you are satisfied with that cv i want to ensure that it's the same information from the cv that is given in your cover letter then you don't have to then say at using the job description below you can just say using the same information i provided above or using the same job description so you don't have to attach your job description again because it already has information about your cv and your job description but it's let's say for example this is only the first thing you wanted to do it's only the cover letter you wanted you didn't want it to create a cv for you then you then have to attach the job description and the and your cv as well because you're doing a cover letter this time around you're going to use another prompt in the sense that you're going to ask it to then use the star method so i already explained what the star method is so you're going to ask it to use that star method to put down the information because for your cover letter and for your personal statement that is what the employers are looking for how you talked about the situation the task what you did and the result and also some kind of reflection as well so what i'm then going to do is that i'm going to say instead of using quantifiable metrics i can also say for example using the star method 
create this cover letter and as well you want it to include quantifiable metrics as well but make it as realistic as possible and do not make up any information so if you are satisfied with that prompt you go ahead and it's going to go and create that for you okay so now what it's doing is that it's bringing out a cover letter for you that is ats compliant using the same information you have provided as the job description and your cv but this time around you're giving it a prompt to use the star method because you want to make sure that it's not too generic okay and that's what the employers are also looking for one annoying thing that it does is that it starts to actually say situation task action result of course you don't really want to assign it that way and that's why like i said that every information that chat gpt gives you you also have to reiterate it is not as personalized as you want you also have to make it personalized and then sometimes chat gpt can start using some big big words that can make the employers know that you use chat gpt so you want to ensure that you reiterate any big words that you're seeing look for a kind of like another word that you can use in place of that word like i said what chat gpt does is that it gives you that structure that you need so sometimes you don't have to copy and paste everything so you still have to put in some work but it's not as much work as you would put in if you were just creating it from scratch chat gpt gives you that structure that you need if there are some other information that you want to put into it maybe some information from the job description that is essential that wasn't put in here then you have to reiterate and then put that information there now what i has done is that has given me for example the situation task action result so of course when i'm then going to submit my cover letter i'm not going to submit it in this format i'm going to then make it into like a whole paragraph so the situation task action and result will be in a whole paragraph usually it's important that your cover letter is not more than two pages long at most three pages so let's say for example you needed to make your cover letter 500 words you can then ask chat gpt summarize it into 500 words but don't remove any important information so you want it to summarize it into the words you want but you also want to ensure that it's not you know um, omitting the important information that and that is needed in your application and then it will give it to you in 500 words and then all you have to do is then retreat check out for any maybe excessive words or big grammars there so you can see when i asked to summarize it in 500 words it didn't give me the whole situation task like that so you also want to ensure that it's doing that even if that summarized it you want to ensure that it's still giving your experiences in that kind of story the situation the task the action and then the result so like i said this is something that you have to keep playing around with this are this is just basically like the prompt that i use and sometimes you have to tailor the prompt differently if it's not giving you the right answer it is a tool that you can use to give you the result that you want so if you're not satisfied with the first answer it's given you can then restructure your question again and keep trying until you have gotten exactly what you want or for example that's giving you the information that you need but basically this video is to just show you how you can prompt and ask the right questions and how you can use chat gpt to then create a very good cv and cover letter that can make your application stand out in my next video i'm going to be talking about how to then prepare for your interview and ensure that you get that job after your interview so if you want me to go into more details on using chat gpt for your cv and cover letter let me know in the comment section below and i can, can do a more detailed and descriptive video on how to actually use it for example to keep tailoring it until they have gotten that particular information that you need and also look out for my next video on job interviews so if you found this video very helpful and useful please like this video share to someone that you know is probably at the moment job hunting or applying for jobs and you know that this information will be very useful and vital for them and also click that subscription button as well let's get to 10k subscribers by the end of this year so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video do look out for that goodbye